Alright. So you're playing Shen versus Malphite. You have Ignite, he has TP. So this is one matchup you should really be crushing. Let's see how you play it. Okay, so first mistake. You're not leashing. When you're not leashing, you should always look to cheese enemies that you can beat level 1. And Malph Malphite is definitely one of them. So in this case, it wouldn't have mattered if you gone for the cheese here. But if Malphite was the one leashing, um, then you could have like straight up won the lane if you just instantly pathed uh, here instead and stood in the bush. Okay, you went there eventually, but you could have taken a quicker path. And you, when you're when you're cheesing, what you should do is Q first at 127, so your passive goes on CD, and then you Q again at like 135 or 136, so you prepare the normal Qs, and then he's eventually gonna walk into you, and then you auto attack him once or twice with the Qs that you have prepped, and then when you pre press the drag through when he's around here. Then your passive is gonna be up because you prepped it at 127. So always queue before you see them at like 127 and then 120 20, or 135 or 136. And you will be able to get more damage on your cheese if the enemy ends up face checking. Alright, so now you see him. So now you walk to lane. And the first thing you wanna do in all me melee matchups is just to walk up and place the blade. Yeah. And don't trade more okay. So, let's see here. You don't have to walk up so it like, it's like in the middle, so it's like absolutely perfect. Since it has a slow and everything, I think it would have been fine to just press Q a little bit earlier, place it here, and then walk back, not, not uh, let him get like this much poke back onto you. But it's still fine. You got the right logic, just a little bit misex. Oh no, here's here's the mistake though. Here's the mistake. So first off, Malphite has a Q, so he gets to press Q on you and slow you and he's faster. So you're never gonna be able to get behind him here uh, for the drag through. And how you wanna lay up your trades as Shen is to always use the drag through and if there is a situation like this where you're not sure you're gonna be able to get the drag through uh, you're not you're not gonna be be winning that trade at most you're gonna be trading evenly but as Shen when you have ignite especially but even when you have TP but especially when you have ignite taking even trades is so so bad because let's say you trade evenly and both of you get 200 HP what is he gonna do? He's gonna back far, far back under tower if he's smart and TP back and suddenly you're in a really bad spot and you're gonna be stuck in lane, not gonna be able to find a good recall, not gonna be able to, to lane, not gonna be able to grow your lead and you're gonna get outscaled. So as Shen, you have like two things you're gonna do in, in terms of trade pattern and that's to place the blade and then wait for the enemy to walk up to see us uh, where you, you get a free drag through and a good trade and that's why you repeat over and over so good trade with drag through and then place the blade in a good spot again good trade with drag through and the enemy goes for a CS you don't want to just walk up like raw like just walk up uh, and and start a trade out of nowhere that's always gonna be bad for you like you see here how you didn't get the drag through and you take a lot of minion damage it's just, it's just so bad. All right, so let's see how you play around the level two here that you're gonna hit eventually. So you're, okay, second mistake. You're pushing way too hard right now. You, the push is already going in the, your favor. So you should al always be last hitting at the very last second when it's already pushing towards the enemy. Because if it's slow pushing already towards the enemy and then you push harder than you have to, then what happens to the wave is it grows big quickly and then crashes into his tower quicker than you want it to be. Which means he can fa safely farm. But if you're slow pushing at the very slowest degree possible, then he has to stay in this risk area and take bad trades uh, for a way longer time. So that's why you wanna make sure you get level 2 first, but also don't push harder than necessary. Like these attacks are really unnecessary. Okay, 
uh, second thing, yeah, you're not gonna be in range there. Second thing, important. When you see that the seven minion is dying soon, and you're gonna get level two here, what you should do here is actually sacrifice this minion that's dying here and just start running up, right? Because you're gonna get XP either way and he's not gonna be able to get out of your taunt range if you just run at him here. But since you stop, you stop in place to actually hit it, to like get level two, you see? Then he actually has the time to run away because he realizes, oh shit, he hits level two, right? And that means you're not in range and you miss the taunt and that's like, a huge loss in the lane, a huge loss. So the right move is to just walk up before you even hit level 2, so you're already in range and then you taunt and suddenly lane is super easy because it's 1 HP after the level 2 only. So it's a neat trick. Yeah, so you see what has happened to the wave right now, right? The wave is pushing super hard because you have attacked several times when you haven't been uh, when it hasn't been necessary and uh, now the next wave is gonna be stuck here right and you're never gonna be able to find a trade here because it's or you might be able to but it's way harder since it's so close to his tower right but this wave it would have crashed here as well and you could have taken some really good trades uh, with XP advantage minion advantage your Shen versus Malphite, there's so many things in your favor if you just don't push quite this hard. But now now he gets to scale for free. Okay. Did that? Was that actually a drag queen? So that barely was a drag through. You got quite lucky here, IMO. You should always press E first and then press Q right afterwards and it's gonna be a guaranteed drag through. Here you almost missed the drag through just because you pressed Q before you pressed E. If your blade is like all over the way here, then I agree to press Q first because then there's a large area it has to cover before it comes to you. But normally, if you're gonna taunt in, then press Q afterwards so you don't risk missing it. But it was a good, good timing to taunt anyway. Yeah, so now I kind of agree with pushing, right? Because here you can't you can't really find good trades anyway. So the best way is to just push it in quickly, and um, so you can maybe dive him. Here, I think I would have walked up to see if he if he let you auto attack him because then you could have stopped his passive from coming up here. Okay, so he's... So the, the, the thing that happened here, right, was... Level, level 1 and 2, you pushed way too hard, so the, it crashed around his tower. But now, when it's already, like, almost under his tower, you have to shove this in. Do you see how you're wasting seconds just walking around here? And you don't shove it into tower? That means that the next wave is, like, coming in here, right? And because it takes too long killing these last couple of minions of the last wave, the next wave doesn't crash totally into tower either. So now it's not possible to do the drag through um, or like the tower crash taunt where you just walk up and poke him under tower. And it's just, it, it won't bounce back to you uh, as well either. So just, just pour all over. Uh, okay. I mean, I'll take it. No, here here you make another mistake. So what you should do is instantly back after this. You want to get back to late as soon as possible. Wasting a couple of seconds here when it's clearly going to bounce back to you is actually really bad because now... Uh, oh my god, okay. Just, okay. just chaos, right? I would have just taken the back anyway. But what happens here, it, assuming this shit didn't happen and you took a recall, is you, you backed, right? And now you're gonna slowly walk back to lane. And this wave, Malphite might be able to crash this wave into your tower before you get back to lane. Because you wasted those like 2-3 seconds. That might be the difference maker. 
While if you just back instantly, where you see it's gonna push to you after a kill, they can often buy and rush back to lane and get there before it crashes into your tower. And after you've gotten a solo kill and you're ahead and and you don't let it crash into your tower, that's a perfect opportunity to freeze, right? And that's how you actually win games. You get that solo kill and then you back and when you get back to lane, you keep a freeze and extend your lead and take a good trade and then zone from XP even more. So when this happens to you guys, when you get a solo kill, close to the enemy tower or whatever, and it's gonna push back to you, never stay around here. Even if there's a low minion, don't waste like two, three seconds. Just walk in here and recall. Individual lost hits is not important here. What's important is to take the recall and get back to lane as soon as you can. All right. And also, what happened here, you did get back to lane before it crashed, but because you took longer and let another wave come in, this is a little bit too big to freeze. Like you can try for a little bit maybe, but you're not gonna be able to hold this wave here, right? It's gonna, it's gonna take too long and he's gonna punish you if you try. Uh, while if you took the recall instantly and ran back to lane, then this wave would have been half this size and you could have easily frozen and like uh, punished Malphite for your advantage here. But you had to let it to crash now and now he's gonna be able to farm safely under tower when it bounces back to him and he's gonna be soon level 6 and you can't punish him the way you want to. You see how he can just safely farm right now? He's gonna be able to get level 6 before you can even like punish him more and that's definitely something you're sad to see as Shen because your strongest levels are levels 1 to 5. Yeah, so it's, it's really hard when it's close to tower like this. Uh, I think you made the same mistake again though, let's see. Oh yeah, you definitely made the same mistake again. So this is this is something we've seen two times now in five minutes of laning. So when your wave is stuck here in the danger zone, where you're close to the enemy tower, you can't find trades, you're pretty gankable if the enemy jungler comes top. There's so many bad things with the wave being here. Then what you wanna do is always shove, shove, shove. So it crashes com completely and bounces back into you. So you can trade again, so you can play the lane the, w the way you want to. But if you just sit around for a little bit and you don't let it crash completely, like you see here, you're wasting time. You're like trying to find a couple of trades, but that made it so that the next wave comes in and it's still stuck here for another 20 to 30 seconds. And you're just fucking yourself over by not crashing completely. So whenever it's stuck here, always shove, shove, shove. All right, I think that's enough. It's some um, some really important things that we got to cover. So level one, she is correctly. Level one, two in lane. Don't trade when you aren't gonna get the drag through and you have the passive. And don't push harder than you have to because then the wave easily gets stuck here and you, you sacrifice your ability to trade him. And whenever you have gotten the kill, always back instantly if it's gonna bounce back to you because you wanna run back to lane and create a freeze. So that's the things you should focus on from, uh, from this game. So that's it.